we have 155 pound fighters. In the blue corner, Michael Bueno. His opponent coming all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, Ray Ostrander. All right, here he comes. I mean, Kevin, what do you think of this matchup, man? I don't know too much about Ray Ostrander, but I do know that Michael Bueno is not a man to be trifled with because he does have decent striking and good jiu -jitsu. These fighters weighed 155 pounds in the blue corner. He's 31 years old and fights for Team Santos at the El Nino Training Center out of San Lorenzo. His professional record is 0-2. He is Michael the Don Bueno. His opponent, once again, coming all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, but originally from Thousand Oaks, California. He's 35 years old, fights for the Silverback Fight Team. His pro record is three and three. Ray Ace Ostrander. Your referee for this fight is Ed Cavantes. All right, here we go for round one. Fun fact, Michael Bueno is from San Lorenzo. I, too, am from San Lorenzo. Hey, represent, brother. Yes, sir. Right, here we go. Michael Bueno coming out southpaw. Ray Ostrander coming out ortho. Just get thrown out. And this is just the difference between amateur and pro. You know. They don't have to come out as hard. You know, just get a phone up here. You got longer rounds, more time to download what your opponent's going to do. Exactly. You don't need to rush or anything. Just feel it, feel out your opponent. Study what they do. You notice they're probing on both ends. They're kind of probing with that jab, throwing it out. Nice kick right there. Yeah. My Ostrander. He's coming in hard with those kicks. Yeah, Michael Bueno's doing a good job at checking those though. You know, for Bueno as a southball, he wants to circle out more so towards, towards the to the to the right of Ostrander. Definitely benefit him in terms of getting inside his uh, his range. I heard this connected right there. That was a pretty solid hit right there. Yeah, it was. Those rapid hooks, the inside kicks and outside kicks. Bono has to stay a little more busy. Yeah, but he doesn't look phased. Great nice takedown knee. defense. Nice knee. Got those double unders, have, has all strainer against the cage. And that's where you want to be. Great pressure. He's, he was able to reverse that takedown. He's going for that trip. He's not quite there. 
Nice knee from Lee. That's what you want to do. You want to soften them up, soften them with those blows, and then you can go down to your takedown. Yeah. Take his mind off the, the takedown itself. Another knee right there. Ostrander has to get away from the fence. Fight those hooks, underhooks. Yeah. He's doing great get, keeping his hips away, but he needs to circle up a little bit more. There you go. And now he's in a dominant position right there. That's where you want to be. He has to be About careful 50 -50. not. Ostrander has to be careful not to leave his head down there because he'd get caught with a knee. And unlike an amateur, he can knee to the face. And also throw elbows to the face. Yes, he can. Nice job from Brando. Well, Brando's looking a lot looser now. Ostrander. Great single leg. Nice Great to head. Nice. That was just a great transition from that, that high kick over to the takedown. Didn't quite get it. Bueno's doing great, keeping his hips away, defending right now. He's got that wizard in, posting on the face. He's doing his best to circle out. Yeah, there's not a lot of power strikes coming out right now, but spread activity on both ends. That kick. Yeah, he's working those inside kicks right now to the, to the lead leg yeah. of Bueno. I see it's getting a little red. Nice. Caught him with that short uppercut right there when, his, when Bueno was on his way up. Bueno has to get out of that position. Nice, he reversed it. You can tell Bueno's very comfortable in those grappling exchanges. It's a testament to his, uh, his jiu-jitsu and wrestling. Yeah. Nice take from Bueno. That was a great way to end the round right there, right on top. Yeah. I think just that alone solidified him winning the first round, in my opinion. What do you think? No, I, I would agree. Um, it's a close round. Uh, the takedown definitely helps, especially with the ground pound at the end. It wasn't too long, so we, we'll see what the judges do with that. But it was a good round for both, both fighters. Yeah. Ostrander was on the other hand being the aggressor for the most part. Yeah. The old, the old Romero trick. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> nice leg kick from Ostrander. Yeah, he's really looking those kicks right now. Yeah, he's really good at throwing those. I know, has the double unders. Yeah, Bueno loves it. his clinch against the cage. He's doing really well so far with it. He's got to get that takedown, though. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's going for since he had success with that towards the end of the first round. He's going for the outside trip, not really getting there. from Ostrander. No, great bueno. knees by Bueno. Oh, another knee. Another knee. And you know those knees are hurting him too. Straight to the body. Oh, yeah. Still for the 
outside trip again. It's not quite there. There's a one leg trap. He's got the body like now he's got his back. If he can go for a mat return. Or at least drop that down to a double leg takedown. Otherwise, he's, he's not going to do much with that position. Yeah. For Ostrander, man, you got to circle out, man. Keep that Wizard in. Post against the head and circle out. And he's not doing that right now. He's in a bad position. Both trying to fight with those knees. Yeah, looks like Bueno's having more luck with them. Being a longer fighter. So still, mate, not much going on. Bueno stones. Oh, there nice. we go. That was the most action we had in the last two minutes. They separated from the clinch. Austrian yeah, is just throwing these wild kicks, but he's not really setting it up. He's, he's telegraphing way too much. Bueno just teeing off. Oh, well, I'll try to grab himself a takedown. Looks like he might be going for a guillotine right now. Not quite there. He's trying to secure his position. Nope, he lost it. Trainer needs to do right now. He needs to work more of the ground and pound because that the whole beginning of this round, he, he was not having too much action in there. This is where he needs to shine. Bueno utilizing the cage to go back up to his feet. Now he has Ostrander back in that position against the cage. Throwing those beautiful knees. That's not where Ostrander wants to be, man. I'm telling you. Bueno's doing great. I mean, he's keeping against the cage, having that heavy pressure. But also, Brown's not doing much with it. Aside from those knees, he's not getting too much action in there. He's got to show that he's going for something. At some point, the ref's gonna have to separate it, man, and this is all we're gonna get. Yeah, 10 seconds. This round's almost over. That was very helpful, but again, he didn't have too much ground upon with it. That's something that the judges look at, so we'll see what they say about it. But I completely just let off the gas tank, but they have to show that they're trying to do something in this fight. Yeah, agreed. I'm sure both guys are tired right now. Clinching out that long, that will gas you out from both ends. Go. 
outside kick right there by Bueno. Nice inside kick from Ostrander. See, now Ostrander is really trying to pump it up. And again, he's back to that same bad position that he was in. He's not want to be there. He can't keep allowing himself to get stuck in that position. Yeah. And he's got to see it coming, man. And at this point, man, he's got to work on that wizard, post away. He's doing great getting his hips away, not getting taken down, but that's not enough. You got to circle out. And he's trying to push the head away. There we go. He's Good cross face. Back to the center of the cage. And that's the thing, when it's, when it's in the open, Australia is definitely the more of the dominant aggressor, but once he gets to the cage, that's where Brano strives. Great side kick. Nice Superman punch. Didn't finish the takedown, and now he's back to where he was. going hard with those hills too. You can hear it stomping from here. Oh, yeah. well, Moreno's just letting all, everything out of his arsenal. Just using whatever he can to hurt him, to hurt Ostrander. It's great, he's fighting for the underhook right now. He's got it. Ostrander has to get out of that position. He has to fight for those underhooks. Them boys are real close now, and Sweat's coming down to us. Yeah. Foster can come back with his own foot stomp. Great knee exchange from both parties. Yeah. Ostrander can't allow himself to keep getting in that position. I mean, no. he's, he's losing. And sadly, this round's almost over, and it's not going well for him. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, like, when he's in the open, he's, he's really doing well, but he keeps getting back to that same position where he does not want to be. So he was going for that trip right there. Ostrander out of desperation, just throwing whatever he can. Yeah. There's not much he can do. I mean, Bueno's just doing great keeping that pressure against him against the cage, and you know, that's where he wants to be. Yeah. It's not the prettiest win, but he, you know what? Wins a win if he gets it. That's right. Yeah, looks like Trying to reverse it. Yep. Now they separate. All right, this is where he wants to be. Get those finishes. He's going for the takedown again. Bueno's doing good defending right now. He's got a warning about his fingers in the cage. Yep. Oh, nice elbow attempt from Bueno. Seconds. Short time. Yeah, you know, it wasn't the, the prettiest, but I'd have to say, man, I'd just get that one to Bueno for sure. Yeah, of course. And sometimes you have fights like that. It's, it's part of the game, you know? Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, play your strength. So if he's not defending there and he's not doing much from there, you know, you just take advantage of it, and that's what he did. Just take it to the judges to see where it goes. Or the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been told it's last call for alcohol. So if you have it in you to have some more beer in the west of the pavilion, it is last call. All right. After 15 minutes of fighting, which is a lot, our judges have rendered a unanimous decision. All three judges rated the fight 30 to 27 in favor of the winner. In the blue corner, Michael! Well-deserved win. Michael Bueno was the aggressor so, towards the, when he had him against the cage.